all right um let's look at plane figures area of a plane figure now when we talk about plane figure plane figures are flat and closed figures which can also be referred to two dimensional figures which are called 2d now two dimensional figures means they have two dimensions two dimensions now a plane can be made of straight line curved line or both or both an example of plane figures are triangle cycle square rectangle polygon now we also have area of a poly i mean a plane figure now the area of a plane figure is the amount of space covered within the boundary of a figure or amount of space occupied by that figure an area is the amount of space covered within the boundary of a figure or amount of space occupied by that figure so now let's go into the construction of areas using one plane figure to get another plane figure having the same area all right now let's say maybe we have a question that says construct that says construct construct a rectangle a rectangle equal in area to a triangle triangle of a b equals 60 centimeter b c equals 55 centimeter and a c equals 55 centimeter oh sorry five centimeter five centimeter five centimeter i'm using centimeter that uh that will be five 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 centimeter five centimeter now the solution to this question is this this is the solution now this is the triangle made of 60 centimeter for the base and the sides are five centimeter and now having drawn this triangle i can use this triangle to get the rectangle that is having the same amount of space occupied by this triangle now the formula for finding the area of a triangle is half times breadth times height or we can also say or half breadth times height height so now and why the area of a rectangle this triangle rectangle equals to length times breadth now if you should measure this triangle and you measure the rectangle it has the same area it has the same area with this triangle if you measure this rectangle now it has the same area with the triangle so now let me show you how to get this drawing all right first of all draw four draw your baseline draw your baseline with your t square you 
this is a baseline measure this is a plane this is a plane measure on it your base and from the question our triangle is made up of what six centimeter as the base six centimeter so from zero centimeter to six is our what is our base so we label it a b from this point this dot to this dot is our a b which is made up of what six six centimeter the next thing now is to draw the sides how do you draw the side use your compass open your compass to five open your compass to five okay mind you in initially i was saying 55 millimeter i was actually right but i wanted to say 5.5 centimeter 5.5 centimeter 5.5 centimeter so open your compass to 5.5 centimeter this is 5.5 centimeter so this is five then you count this is five count one two three four five that's 5.5 after five you count the lines after it 5.5 then put it at point b make an arc put it at point a make an arc with that 5.5 good then having done that take your ruler draw a line from the intersection where these two arc intersect or join each other draw a line to point a from a to point a and from a to point b From A to point B, good, and label this point C. All right. So as we can see now, we are having the same. We, we've drawn the what the triangle. This is fifty-five point five point five centimeter, five point five centimeter. So now the next thing to do is this: draw your height the height of the triangle draw the height of the triangle from point c i'm using my c square now the 90 degree side to draw a straight line the perpendicular side good now label this point where this height touches from point c to the baseline label it y good now the next thing to do is this bisect y now bisect cy from here to this level bisect it what do i mean by bisect that is divide it into two now open your compass to any convenient radius but now i'm not opening my compass further i'm only using the wideness or the radius of 5.5 that i use the radius that i use to draw this side is what i'm using i'm not I, I did not close my compass so i'll put it at point y Put it at point Y. I'll make an arc here. I'll make another arc here. I'll put it at point C. If you observe, you see that I did not close the compass. I'll put it at point, I'll mark it here. Good. Then the next thing to do is join those two lines together where they are touching each other from this point here to this point here. Join them together. Join them together. Good. Then, from point A to B, draw a perpendicular to touch. Now, let's label this line. Line. D. E. D. E. Let's label it D. E. All right. Now, from line D. E. Now, draw from point B a perpendicular, that is a straight line, to touch line ED. Then, take it to point A, to touch line 
ed good now a b then g h is our required rectangle that is equal in space to this triangle that is equal in space to that triangle meaning that the amount of space occupied by this rectangle is also equal to the amount of space occupied by the triangle or covered within the boundary of the triangle so let's check let's confirm if what we have drawn is actually right now if you see my initial drawing we can also confirm from it now from my initial drawing look at my base it is what six centimeter and for this rectangle now e d b a now for this one it is what 2. 1, 2, 3, 2.3 2.3 2.3 that is my rectangle is what the length is 6 the breadth is 2.3 now what about my triangle remember triangle is the area of a triangle equals half open bracket bread times what height bread times height or base sorry base is base oh. this is base base not bread base 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 so base times height right now which is equal to half what is my base my base is six then what is my height from here see why look at it all right 4.6 times 4.6 if you multiply it you will have 13.8 for this one equals 13.8 so for this my first joint the area of the rectangle is 13.8 the area of the triangle is 13.8 meaning that it's absolutely what correct now let's check for this one too now from here to here is what six look at it is six then from here to here also is what okay look at it as two one two three two point three still the same thing with this that's six times two point three for my rectangle and for my triangle which is half base times height now what is my base my base is still 60 that means six uh, six half six times six times also when you open the bracket it's times so i have 60 i have six times what's the height also same height from there to this level 4.6 get it 4.6 can you see 4.6 this 4.1.2.3.4.5.6 when you multiply we have 13.8 13.8 centimeter centimeter when it is an area it becomes square and that is it it is absolutely correct this is how to find what the same area